Hi, before I get started with the tutorial, here is a short introduction. My name is Kira Mori, and you may know me best for my live 2D VTuber model tutorial videos. And here I am, the new updated model. <laughs> Kira 1.0 no more. Here is the new Kira. <laughs> Let's get on with the tutorial. Let me introduce my victim. I mean guest. <laughs> Let's drag her in here. Let's welcome Volchan. Okay, so Volchan is here to help us understand the mouth rigging stuff. And now for mouth rigging, you will need first thing that we need is the inner mouth, the tongue, lower and upper teeth, lower lip and upper lip. I'll also have some kind of graphic right over here so you can see. That's basically all you need for the mouth parts. And let us now import Balchan to Live TD. Okay, Balchan, time for you to get in here. Okie dokie, now the ball chan is here. Let me just make the art meshes for some of the parts. For the upper and lower lip, I'd like the preset to be heavy deformation. So the mouth looks smooth when it is changed. Alright, and for the upper teeth, lower teeth, tongue, mouth inside, they're just gonna be standard. Nothing really super... Yes. <laughs> I didn't set the art mesh for the other parts since they're not relevant to the tutorial. Next thing though we're gonna do is to use the deform path edit tool, which is this one right here. And just put on some vertices. <laughs> and just follow the curve of the lip. Same goes for the lower lip. The parameters that we are gonna focus on for this tutorial are mouth form and mouth open. We are going to reference a table from this site. Nihongo no 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 no. I actually adjusted some of these things so it'll look better. I'll have a graphic or something, an image of my own table right here so you can reference it. The links are also in the description for the images and stuff. The thing that you want to do is just to copy the parameter values of this one. The X axis is the mouth form and the Y axis is the mouth open. What I like to do for the mouth form is actually have three key forms first. There is going to be a smooth movement for the smiling and frowning. So add these first, the three, negative one, zero, and one before adding the negative 0 0.5 and 0 0.2. Okay, so let's select an object and then go to the other values. Let's go to the negative 0.5 first. Right click this one and do this. Yes, then 0.2. There we go. Same with the lower lip. Okay, I'll be changing this one first since it's kind of covering the blush. I do advise having separate blush objects and have them over like at the top of your mouth object so they don't become like this like so have some weird clipping going on or whatever you call it <laughs> okay there we go i also advise to clip everything to the inner mouth like copy this mesh id and just set them as the clipping id for the other objects should have told that earlier haha <laughs> And then for the mouth open, let's see. Let's just set up the values for the mouth open parameters. Okie dokie. And do the same for the upper lip. Just keep on right clicking and adding everything. And next thing that you want to do is link these parameters so they'll be in a happy parameter marriage <laughs> as you can see the x-axis is the mouth form just like in the table and the y-axis is the mouth open basically what you want to do is copy what the mouth looks like in the table you could also change how the mouth looks depending on your model like 
test it out and then make some necessary changes. I'm going to speed up the video since the process is kind of long. Okay, so that took a while. <laughs> Once 
let's see what this looks like in VTube Studio, so I'll be right back. I am now in VTube Studio. If you want to mess around with these settings, this one works for me the best. And then I'll do this 2.3. Yeah. Maybe 0 0.5. A little bit of smoothing. Yeah, that works. Just play around with the settings for the parameters so it kind of fits what your mouth movement should be. And let's check out Pierre Pierre Live. Pero Pero Live? I don't know. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> so I have Pierre Pierre Live open right now. Let's start the face tracking. I'm using the DLC so it has better tracking. Alright, let's start the capture. And my computer is so slow. Because a lot of things are running right now. Okay, let's go to the advanced configuration of some parameters. You want to change some settings because it's not going to look good at first. Yeah, basically when you load your model in PRPR Live or VTube Studio, play around with the parameters first. So it'll really match your mouth movement. And when you are actually using your model, try to stress your in real life mouth form. I need practice with this too. We are done with the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. So if you have any questions or suggestions, don't be afraid to comment down below. If you're gonna subscribe, I'd really appreciate it if you do. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you will know every time I post a video or when I'm live. Sometimes in my streams, I do answer live TD questions. So yeah. <laughs> Guess I'll see you next time. See ya, Kira.